Since we were little, it has been drilled into us that drugs are bad, they ruin lives. Stay away if you're bright, yet we are in the dark. Drugs shouldn't be spoken about, don't take drugs, don't ask questions. But how should we know the dangers if no one addresses the issue? It becomes hard to disappoint. Go on, we're not trying. No, no, my head's on the desk. I go on, a little bit So you don't disappoint, but in saying yes, you say yes to the pain, paranoia, insomnia, anxiety, depression, addiction. If things go wrong, don't go with them. Drugs kill the pain, and the joy, and the hope, and the body, and the brain, and finally the soul. Our YSI class chose the topic of drug abuse after realising this was a major issue facing young people like ourselves. After taking a survey of the senior students in our school, we found out that three in five people have been either offered drugs or in the environment of people taking them. The old idea of just saying no does not and has not worked yet. If it was working, this issue would not exist. Instead of drugs not being spoken about and pushed under the mat, we believe if people are educated on the effects and the worst possible outcome, that they may be safer. It may not hurt you, but stop right now and think of the person you love the most. Now imagine them at your funeral and how their life will never be the same again from your one stupid decision. The old way of dealing with this issue needs to change dramatically. When a person is caught with drugs, they are put in prison where they are even more exposed to it. We believe drug abuse is a disease that should be treated and not punished. Aidan O'Reardon came in to talk to us about this issue and he really opened our eyes to how bad it is and how it really is the people you leave behind that are the most affected. In closing, we know, as young people of today, having witnessed friends or friends of friends on drugs, in an effort to help you all in this situation, if you're ever in it, we are handing out cards which show how to identify someone on drugs and where to get them help if needed. Thank you.